Okay, boys and girls, we're working on the second part of um, chapter 8, lesson 5. Before we worked on adding, now we're going to work on subtracting angles. So I want you to look at this with me. And it can be found on page 371 in your math book. So if you look, it says, sorry for the noise, it says the measure of RST, that would be from R to S, then S to T. This whole angle right here is 120 degrees. We have part of it. It wants to know what's this missing part right here. So we know all of this combined, 75 plus the question mark, that looks like this. 75 plus the question mark equals 120. How would I figure out what that question mark was? If you said subtraction, you're correct. I do 120 degrees and I'd subtract the question mark. No, you guys are right. No, I would subtract the 75. Can I do 0 minus 5? No, so I have to borrow from the 2. The 2 becomes a 1, this 0 becomes the 10. So what's 10 minus 5? It's 5. Can I do 1 minus 7? No, the big number's not on top, so I have to borrow and, or ungroup again. That becomes a 0. This 1 becomes an 11 because I add 10 on. Because I just borrowed a 10. So 10 minus 7 would give me 4. So I know that the question mark would be 45 degrees. Okay, well let's try another one. Let's try this next one. It says M, N, P, so that's this angle. The whole angle is 130 degrees. This part right here is 40 degrees. I want to know this side of the angle. How much is right there? Well, how would I do that? It's the same step as before. Both the 40 and the question mark equal 130 degrees. To figure out what the missing part is, I would take the 130 degrees and subtract 40. Well, 0 minus 0 is 0. 3 minus 4 I can't do, so I ungroup. It becomes 13 because I added 10 onto it. 13 minus 4 would give me 7. So this missing part, the question mark, would be 70 degrees. Okay, let's try another one. This time I want you to try it all on your own. I'll help you start off. It says A, B, C. So there's this whole line right here. Ooh, that's a... What type of angle? It's a straight angle. Good job. The whole thing is 180 degrees. This part is 72. We want to know what is this missing part? Okay, you try it on your own when you're ready. Um, pause the video and when you're done, um, restart the video and check your answer to see if you're right. So if, I, so if I were to do this, I would take 180 degrees and I'm going to subtract 72 degrees. So I can't do zero minus two. So I have to ungroup. This 8 becomes a 7. This 0 becomes 10 because I added 10 on it. I borrowed 10 from here and added it on over here. 10 minus 2 gives me 8. 7 minus 7 is 0. I still have this one, so I bring it down. So this missing question mark would be 108 degrees. Okay, try this last one on your own. Remember, pause the video. When you're ready, turn it back on and we'll go over it. Okay, so X, Y, W. From here to here was 60 degrees. I know that this little missing part right here is 10 degrees. I 
want to know what this part is right here. So it would be 10 plus the question mark equals 60. So to find out the missing part, I take 60 and I subtract 10. That would give me 50. So the missing degree is 50 degrees, just like that. Okay, well, sometimes you'll give a problem like this. And it gives you nothing more. But can you use inferencing to figure out what the whole is? This looks like a straight line. So what type of angle is it? You're right, it's a straight angle. If it's a straight angle, how many degrees does it have? You're right, 120 degrees. Or not 120, I wrote it right, said it wrong, 180 degrees. So how would I figure out this missing angle? If I know the whole angle is 180 degrees, and I know the missing part is, well, I don't know the missing part, and I know this part over here is 45 degrees, how do I figure out the whole angle? That's exactly what we did before. We'll do 180 degrees, and we're going to subtract 45. Can't do 0 minus 4, so I ungroup. This becomes a 7. This becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 3, 1. So I know my missing part is 135 degrees. But what if I gave you a problem like this? do? I want to know the missing part, but I'm not given the whole. What type of angle is this? This is a right angle. And how many degrees does it have? So can you figure out what it would be? Yeah, we take 90 degrees, we'd subtract 5 degrees, and that would give us 85 degrees as the missing angle. Now sometimes you might even see this. Oops, that was bad. Let me see if I put my dot. How many is there this time? There's one. Two, three different angles. This one I'm going to tell you, 15 degrees. This one is 35 degrees. And this one we have no idea. Can I solve it? I can. This reminds me of what type of angle? You're right, it reminds me of a straight angle. And how many degrees does a straight angle have? 180. So that means 15 plus the 35 plus the question mark should all equal 180 degrees. How would I figure out this question mark? Oh, you guys are so brilliant. If you said we should combine these first. So what's 15 plus 35? You're right if you said 50. It is 50 degrees. Now have I seen something like this before? Yeah, it's what I've been working on this whole time. So I would take the 180 degrees and I would subtract 
50 degrees. And that would give me, let's see, 8 minus 5, 3, 1. So 130 degrees would be this missing part. Now some of you might be saying, Mrs. Anderson, that can't be right because this right here is obviously an acute angle. And you guys are totally correct. But what I'm going to say is this, this problem was not drawn to scale. Meaning, did I measure 15 degrees exactly? No, I just put a random number in. Did I measure 35 degrees exactly? No, I just put a random number in. So that's why this right here looks like an acute angle, but this is an obtuse angle. It was not drawn to scale. And so that's okay. Sometimes that happens because I didn't actually measure out to make sure that this was 15 degrees. This probably isn't 15 degrees, and this probably isn't 35 degrees, which would then throw off the actual amount of this right here. That wouldn't actually be 130. I just gave you hypothetical degrees, so this would be hypothetically 130 degrees. Okay, I hope this helps. If you have questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.